morning. I'm Lynn. And I'm Arnie. And welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Today we got a few things going on. I know Arnie's going to show you a solution he has to that feeder where the you got her head stuck in. He's going to try fix that today for you. And uh, I think something's going to happen with these lambs. So uh, stay tuned and let's get started. Not good from here, is it? It's always nice when you're not super, super busy on the farm. It lets you get caught up on all the little odds and sods that need doing. And those jobs that don't absolutely need doing either, but are fun to do. So this is the flower that Arnie made for me for Christmas last year. And uh, winter's coming in, so we wanted to get it out of the way of the snowblower and stuff because it was normally sitting on a stand like that and it's quite large like it's uh, a six seven foot uh, tall flower so he thought uh, he could screw it flush against the wall over the winter and I actually think it might look good there period and then it would free up the stand for him to make me something else I like that idea better anyways he just put some pilot holes into the wall the rams are in their paddock you can't walk by with stopping to say hello to them they're absolutely offended if you don't stop and say hi hi guys although we do have some of them already out there their paddocks basically played out at this time of year even though they've got a really big uh, field behind the barn that they go to Oh, Scotty heard me. Look, these cats are sharp. He's going to want his food, so he's going to head in. We'll get that for him. These guys uh, are going to head off to the field. The ones that aren't gawking at the girls, that is. And you see those are the two new guys? That's why I say you have to at least have two sheep from the same farm because they actually hang around together. They're from the same farm, those two. They haven't been living here together for the whole time because they were in breeding groups, but as soon as we put them back in this group, they uh, found each other again. Um, they like security and things they know. But they are part of the group now. Nobody's fighting or anything. But it is interesting how the ones that you bought together tend to always stay together. Okay, Scotty. We'll feed you now. Are you coming over? Just Come on. Got it in. fastened onto the wall. Just put a little uh what is that? A little strap across the po <laughs> the post and it's up there for the winter. Shouldn't fall over. The wind was catching it and blowing it over too, so I figure this is a nice little addition to the barn. Makes it a little fancy. What does this, this flower have in common with sheep farming? I don't know, Arnie. What does it have in common with a sheep little, farming? A little lesson about sheep farming. And Arnie's spot. Arnie's little circle for one day. You see this flower? We haven't we haven't watered this flower all summer, so this flower would be considered an easy keeper. It's the same goes for sheep. Sheep that respond real quick on the weight thing with the grain is easy keepers, and this is an easy keeper. So when you're raising flowers or raising sheep, you gotta have the same thing you gotta think about, easy keepers. But isn't that one getting a little too tall? <laughs> yeah, that could be a theory. I never thought of that. Yeah, but, was... but if you had uh, tall sheep that uh, were easy keepers, that would be a bonus. Well, the difference would be is, is sheep are kept inside mostly in, in our farm in the winter time, so the snow doesn't affect them. But see, this flower here has to withstand that Canadian snow, which would be about there. True. And then it would be perfect for the environment. <laughs> and then I heard on the radio this morning that Alberta is sending the snow this way. We're getting it No, on no, we don't want to hear that. Okay, we're in the noisy barn. I don't like the noise, but these this is my favorite view every morning. 
all the faces. And aha! Uh -huh. We got a little escapee in there. Look at her. Someone thinks she's clever. See, Arnie walked up a bit before he started pouring the grain instead of starting at the beginning. That's because the first part of the barn on this side is the creep area, and we feed the creep uh, feed to the lambs, not the adult mixture. So um, we'll be pouring the creep feed into this trough for the lambs and into the blue troughs as well. The lambs have soybeans added to their um, grain ration, and the ewes are just getting a 50-50 corn barley mixture. <laughs> are you waiting patiently for your cre creep feed? Does it help to get a head start? Do you think it helps? Yeah, what she did it. Maybe you thought it was a good idea. One of them's not here. Who's missing you guys? We they are cut back to twice a day and the amount we give them twice a day has also been cut back. And occasionally we have some that don't come up for the bottle so you know that um and it's uh, number two here oh no that's number two. no that's not him hi Seymour you look like you're way too big for a bottle did you drink all yours yeah you got a healthy appetite you do that's why you're a big grower hi Chewy hi Hi. Hi, Chewy. Hi. Hi, how you doing? See, now one feeding by the scoop, and Chewy thinks uh, that that's the routine. So within one day, those three have learned now that they get a scoop of grain extra if they stand in that corner. Chewy, the Rito Cross, and the Texel Cross. Okay, Arnie's going to make some temporary repairs right now. What are you doing now? It's not temporary then. Red green says it's not temporary. Got the bar? Got the hole? And we'll just set that bar in there nice and secure. And, oh, in the right direction. Let's see, it's actually tampering with me. <laughs> put the bar in the right direction here. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay, put the bar in the right direction. I'm just going <laughs> to... Add a little bit of tape here for a second. Like this. And look at who's beside him. Chewy usually keeps her distance, but uh, that's people say sheep are not smart animals, but that's how quickly they learn. She associates now Arnie with an extra treat. Oh, oh ripped. Well, duct tape isn't perfect, eh? But I'm doing a pinch. I think it, uh, duct tape might have been stronger in Red Green's day. Well, I never heard of duct tape just ripping like that. You don't make it the way it used to. But That's I'm what sure. I mean. But I'm sure this will work. A little bit reinforcing here. This hole is at the very back of the barn, so we can't bring the welder in uh, right now. You'd have to take the feeder out and uh, bring it over to the welder. So, we don't want anyone strangling overnight. The odds are small, but it's always there. So don't tempt fate. There you go. Now the real challenge will be to put, make sure the duct tape's really smooth, because my guess is the first thing the sheep are gonna do 
is they're gonna try chew on that. There we go. What do you say, Arnie? Oh, it's saying, I may not be handsome. I may not be handsome? No. How's it go? It, go, it goes. Well, I was just putting She own. may not find me handsome, but at least she'll find me handy. Okay. <laughs> but I was thinking, I can't afford GPS in the tractor. You know the GPS? All the guys have it now. We're going up and down the fields. But I thought, if I had a good enough field, I could get the tractor straightened out tape the steering wheel down, you know, that it's locked, and then I wouldn't have to steer the tractor all the way down the field. See, I think that would work. Just tape it up. Now, it wouldn't be too practical on a small field because you'd be taping it up like every three seconds, eh? But on a pretty large field, if you taped it up, it'd be just like GPS. I mean, you just go straight. Duck okay. It. That's... Oh, you want this as bait? What? What is it? What is it? I think it's from the praying mantis, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. It's an egg sack. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, put it somewhere safe. Well, we can just tape it right there if you want. No, you can't tape it, Arnie. They have to come out of it. Arnie, yeah, they have to come out of it. Let's go put it in the corner. Not where. Oh, we don't want to put it near a rat. He might eat it. I'll just stick it here. Where? Okay, yeah, that looks safe. You don't want a rat to eat them. Another praying mantis is going to eat your head off. Just so you can have a quick look at our feeders, you'll see what I mean by... Um, these are eight, eight foot feeders, so we have the horizontal bars. This, this one, there's a lot of room so a sheep can get its head in there and get it out. But right here we put in those, that extra bar so that uh, nobody got their head trapped. Okay, while I was doing salt and minerals and the drinkers, I turned around to find all these lambs in the yard because the gate is open. I don't know if Arnie left it open on purpose to be funny or if it's a, it's a true escape. You guys. Well, the fact that they're, the dogs are locked in there lets me believe that Arnie left the gate open on purpose. Hi, you guys. How you doing? And you see, it's safe for us to do that now and let the lambs run around the yard. And in past years, you've seen how our lambs take over the yard and go up to the house and stuff and run around and play. Um, and the ewes can't get out. Um, they're behind the creep pen gate. So they're inside. We don't let the, like the ewes and lambs to run together out for grazing at this age because uh, they transfer parasites over too easily. Hi, this is Peanuts Lamb. He's so nice. You are so pretty. I'm guessing you left it open on purpose. You, need to get open. Are you, simple, you left it open. That's because my clue was that the dogs were behind the gate. You didn't me. think that one out. I just, figured it out. I'm just showing people my nice side. Are you simple, <laughs> Yeah, that is your nice side. <laughs> Look at them. Uh, Hi, you guys. Who's the big guy? Seymour. Oh, that 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 little guy there is really nice. I think, but I think that's fifty-two. Like he's really young. This is number one, so of course she's really big, and she's got actually suffolk in her. So, well, they they came out and are exploring quite quickly. Yeah, yeah that, that's Seymour. He's a beautiful ram. You might as well give him some freedom. Yep. There's a little lamb I like right there. It's got the bulk. He may, not, he may be not the tallest in the longest. Well, we had a little jumper. 
It's got, isn't, isn't, uh, come on, isn't Peanut Slam one of the nicest in here? Yeah, cross, eh? Yeah, cross, but is he stocky? Look at him. And he's not uh, a, one of the older ones. I like him. They're all curious. Hey, they won't go too far. Like, oh, the, mind you, you have, do have the gate open for hey. into the field. Oh, I can go shut that. Either. Yeah, you might want to shut that. Uh, might give the rams ideas to come out. It's always fun when they are at the more independent age. When they're really young, they really cling to their mums for obvious reasons. But once um, we've joined the group together and they're getting their independence, eating creep on their own and stuff, shortly going to get weaned. Um, that's when the lambs become um, individuals. You get to see how they're growing and behaving and And see the, the added freedom? They just love this. And we can let them do this right into the snowfall and everything. If you remember when we had 44's group, that was last year. Uh, we had them loose as we did chores and they wandered around the yard. A lot of them headed up to the house even and ran around the porch having a great old time. They don't wander too far away from where they know their mums are and where their home is. Um, it's not like we're afraid that they're gonna take off down the road and we'll never get them again. They always stay close to home. Hi you guys! And then, of course, we always have Max and Ben who will make sure that they don't go away. And Katie. Oh, buddy, you're so pretty. Just back it up a little. Katie, stay here. So these are obviously the brave ones. And we got the ones inside still eating at the creep feeder. They probably haven't even noticed that anyone left. Hi! And look at who this is. We have a, this year's 44, and it's a female. If uh, you remember last year, we had our two twin 44 males who just recently both went to new homes as breeding rooms. Look, we have a new 44. It's a girl this year. That's 44. Yeah. Uh, we've always had good luck with number sevens and 44s. Would you have to put your nose in that dirty water though? I never thought we'd have white lands. They're pretty brave. They came right out, eh? They'll, they'll hang by the gate in the morning, you watch. They'll get the, they'll get the routine. Oh, I really like that little guy. <laughs> She's, that one's pretty. Oh, that's a boy. I don't know. <laughs> They grow fast, eh? But you really can tell the, the sheep that are really aren't the best ones. That's right. 
And you, it's a no brainer to pick it out. I mean, that She's a bottle is. baby, though. But, but like, so is Seymour. Oh, but he, look, he just came up to you. You ignored him. Look at his bum on him. 43. Yeah. 43. Is it 43? Yeah. Peanuts lamb. And Peanut just stayed here because she was runty and a pet. And now she's really nice, and he's really nice. So we're just going to leave these guys outside while we do the rest of the chores because it uh, looks like they're really enjoying themselves. Fresh air, more exercise. It's nice to see. We like this. This is uh, These are the good days in sheep farming. Dry spin and max crazy that they can't be out there chasing them though. While they're having their fun playing around, we're going to finish feeding the Suffolk breeding groups back in this coverall. And this is why we check our drinkers every day. And you see me every day I clean them. But occasionally you get a really talented sheep who can back into the feeder, aim just right, and fill her up. And if you don't check your drinkers every day, I can tell you, nobody is going to drink that no matter how thirsty they are. So at least uh, walk through your barns on a daily basis and make sure that this type of thing hasn't happened. And inevitably a rat or a mouse or a bird will drop in there too and drown and you don't want them drinking that either. If, that, if, that, if, that, if that's like that, if we could train them to use the toilet, we wouldn't have a manure problem anymore. You would think. They are <laughs> extremely good at aiming. Problem fixed. Uh, that's why we have this, like, prefer the steel bottom drinkers. They are way, way, way easier to clean. The plastic ones are very difficult. Just feeding these guys now and then we'll be letting them out and we'll see how they react to these uh, little lambs uh, running around on the other side of their fence. Watch your head, buddy. <laughs> Letting the ewe lambs out to pasture now. It's going to plus 17 today Celsius. Extremely warm for us in Canada at this time of year. And Canadians are renowned for talking extensively about weather all the time. It's a weather conversation and it's because we have such extremes in temperatures that we have to work around. Um, this type of extreme is a uh, really nice thing to do, but uh, we're expecting rain today and it is warm, so we're letting everyone out and we're doing really thorough cleanings on everything uh, to take advantage of this warm weather because tomorrow, and I'm guessing for the rest of the winter, we've got a high of plus three and for the next two weeks we're between three and four for our daytime highs which is gonna feel brutally cold. And then I'm gonna be talking about being cold and it being freezing. So we're gonna enjoy it while we can. So the rams are heading out to the pasture. Oh, he's gonna stop and visit those little guys. The lambs are all going to visit those big guys as they come out and go to the pasture. They should be cousins. <laughs> they don't need to, like to be away from the group. <laughs> yeah, she's a young one. Hi. This is what farmers do for fun. They sit in they sit in a barnyard on a chair. 
Well, you keep wandering off. What do you expect? And obviously, a ewe lamb has gone around the corner and is looking at them. There's Peanuts lamb. Oh, there's another happy one. Seymour. This is what I meant the other day by uh, when you want to win them over, just uh, plonk some chairs down and sit with them and inevitably they're going to start coming up to you. If you try uh, going after them, they just tend to run away. So all the ewe lambs, as you know, go out to pasture and we just let them out. But one of them saw all the kerfuffle going on back here, so she came to see. But as a result, all her group's gone out to pasture and she can't see them. So just like that little lamb here was crying when it was away from the group, now this one's screaming because she can't see her group. Listen, your group is in the pasture like they always are. They are. They are. the way they are. They're back there in that paddock. <laughs> You're lovely. You're peanut slam and you stand out every time I see you. You're very, very nice. So at this age, um, the lambs have acquired most of their size and build and, and uh, fat layers and stuff, muscling from nursing off mom. The next 50 days will be more up to them. And you'll see how they uh, perform when they're left to their own means and how uh, they will change at that point. Some of the maybe slower ones will catch up and maybe surpass some of the ones that started off really big and vice versa. So right now um, it's very apparent that Seymour is one of the standouts in the group. But we'll see in 50 days if he still is the standout. It doesn't always work out that way. This little, this little one that keeps crying, she's really young. She's one of the youngest, uh, but she's obviously very spunky because the, despite the fact that she's stressed out about coming out here and leaving her mom and stuff and um, keeping up with the pack, she is out here. Most of these are the older ones, but that little one, she's, she's determined to come out here too. So they've been out for quite a while now. Ernie's going to round them up and bring them all back in.
but uh, now that they're at this age, um, on nice days we can let them out every every day with us while we do chores. But for now, we're going to call this a day, and hopefully, you'll join us again tomorrow for the next day at Utopia Farms. Right here. Bye for now.